Tonight, North Texas is getting ready for a potential case or more cases of coronavirus. There are now more than 80,000 cases worldwide, including six here in Texas. Federal health officials say while the outbreak is currently contained in the United States, we should be prepared for a pandemic. Our Robbie Owens covering the story tonight from Dallas. Robbie? Well, Brooke, Dallas County leaders are facing the coronavirus threat in a number of ways. They are preparing, they are urging common sense prevention measures like washing hands, and they're also urging the community to keep the threat in perspective. COVID-19 is now a worldwide concern tilting toward panic. Other people are getting it who weren't necessarily in Wuhan. It is your concern. We are concerned. I make sure that I wash my hands a lot more. And yet doctors remind us that seasonal flu is a more prolific killer. Blame for some 10,000 deaths each year in America alone. We understand their panic. We understand the fear because if you turn on the TV, you go on Facebook, there's so much information that can scare you. Dr. Brad Sellers is director of emergency medicine at Methodist Dallas. He says the medical community learned a lot from the 2014 Ebola outbreak and have continued to fine tune protocols. This looks like a regular treatment room, but it's not. What is different about this room is it's a one of our isolation rooms. We can put that patient in the room, close the doors, and it creates a negative pressure in the room. So, that so no germs are circulating. No germs circulate, nothing's aerosolized. It keeps them in the room so that other patients and staff are protected. Meanwhile, Dallas County officials are reminding the community to have a plan and know that local leaders are preparing as well. We've gotten the information to our first responders that if they are called to a house, we will red flag that house when they're when that goes into 911 then they'll know there's a person in that house um, that is a disease contact or, or has been diagnosed and they can take those appropriate protocols that we've been training them on for the last month and all that before we even have you know one patient here in in Dallas County I asked Dr. Sellers if he could give three pieces of advice to our viewers and he responded so quickly he said get a flu shot wash your hands and stay home if you're sick live in Dallas Robbie Owens CBS 11 news